Hi everyone, welcome back to Car Fix. Today I'm going to talk to you about my DIY solar hot tub heater. And here it is. I'm not going to do the build because there's plenty of builds on YouTube on how to do these, but they are very simple and work very effectively. So I will just run you through it and what it is I've got set up here. So this top sheet, this is glass that I've got. I had glass uh, this sheet of glass in my garage, spare, unused. So that is what I've used. You can use plastic, perspex, you can even use a clear plastic bag, you can use cling film, anything that just creates a void in there that keeps the heat trapped in. The frame is actually an old wardrobe, so it's the bottom section of an old wardrobe with just a couple of side pieces put in to create a box I've got these clips to just clip the glass in so it's not sliding around when I um, prop it up and underneath the hose pipe is um, those rubber play mat type things that you either put gym equipment or make a soft floor for kids you don't need to use that you can just paint it black if you want is a little bit of black spray paint around the edges if you can see it but I didn't have enough paint for the so I used those and obviously they'll insulate it and then the actual hose is just 30 meters of standard garden hose nothing special this is not a high-end setup or like it was specifically made this was literally made on a whim out of stuff I had in my house to show you how easy it can be done and just to test if it works so how it actually works is you will need a submersible pump or if you can, and your hot tub has it, you can connect it to the pump of your hot tub. So in here, um, in the actual hot tub, I have this pump. It's a bit big for this, but it's the pump that I've got. It's an all pond solutions, basically small pond pump. You can do it on smaller pumps, um, 12 volt little water pumps you can get for them lazy spars and whatnot, which you can then run off a car battery. That's obviously run off a plug at the moment, but obviously what happens is that sucks the water up. It goes through all the heated piping in there from the sun. It gets extremely, extremely hot in there, like 50, 60 degrees. The water goes round the 30 metres of pipe, back out, and I have it regulated by this clamp just to slow the water down. Because what I've found, if you get it to just trickle like this, back in, instead of having it full past going through, that your water will get a lot hotter because it's in the system and in where the water is insulated and heated for longer so the water gets to be a lot warmer by allowing the flow to be a lot slower. So at the moment I've got it laid on the floor because the sun starts off from over there in my house. So I just lay it on the floor there and then over the day it turns, goes around there and spends most of its time coming in from this direction. So I prop it up on that plant pot so it's directly in the sun. And that is basically as easy as it is. The water that comes out here now, that's warm already. We're only at what, half past 10 in the morning, I think. And that, it's hot, it's hot to touch that. Like, you know when you've got your um, kitchen tap on full blast for a minute and you put your hand under it and it's hot, like you can't leave your hand under there. That's how hot that water is. So it must be 40 degrees at least. So my hot tub yesterday, I was running this, just turned it on. My hot tub was at 20 degrees. By mid-afternoon, it was up to 30 to 31. So this morning when I've got up, as I'm not running that overnight. Um, because you want to only run this system when the sun is out and it's, it's hottest through the main part of the day because when the sun is in obviously the water it's not heated by the, the sun so you're just rolling cold water around it so you want to turn it off 
when the sun is not out so early morning and overnight you want it turned off it went from 20 degrees to 31 degrees in there just using this no heater in maybe four or five hours so i mean these cost of electricity prices to get these hot tubs up to temperature from from pure tap water at like 15 degrees to get it to 30 degrees i don't know how much it costs but it's getting unsustainable to maintain these hot tubs on electricity so we have to come up with this obviously the more pipe you fit in there the more the hotter the water will get because it's in the system for longer that's all i had 30 meters i could probably fit 50 or 60 meters in this and eventually or probably next year now early summer i'm going to do all this area out so it's nice so you can have the hot tub out in a nicer area because this year we just we just put it out while the hot weather's been out we'll set it up properly next year and try and mount this solar panel up on that shed roof it gets extremely hot up there as you can see i went up there and patched the roof because it had a little hole in the top and i was up on that roof up there and the heat that hits that roof is ridiculous but anyway yeah that's just a quick video on how to make these solar pumps and whether they actually work and they do so quick wooden frame hose pipe some black paint or insulation here's yeah, so a glass plastic bag top somewhere to regulate the flow the pump and you're ready to go so if you like the video want to try this out ask in the comments hit me up in the questions and like and favorite subscribe the video thanks a lot peace out